strong take to the basket by Lamont Ulmer. Count it and the foul. He's a high flyer, live body. One of the best players that I've ever had from the standpoint of uh, his athletic ability. If I had the capability of doing something in the uh, chemistry lab and breaking his body down and figuring out what it is that makes this guy so tremendous. His leaping abilities, I I've never seen anyone who, who jumps as high as him. On a fast break, you could just throw it near the rim or shot clock and you, you know he's going to grab it. Alley-oop, ouch! Ulmer throws it down! He's so exciting the way he plays, he jumps through the roof. He can really uh, energize and ignite the Ryan Center or any place that we're playing because of his, uh, his high-flying ability and his spectacular play. Lamont is a guy who's pretty much like an automatic double-double for us, and he's, you know, kind of been the glue guy this year for our team. Homer battling on the boards for two. Keith is um, someone that's de developed into a, a star in the Atlantic 10. He's just energy all around. He's improved on everything since he's got here. As a player, his jump shot, his ball handling is killed. The way he rebounds, everything he does is based off his intensity. You know, he's a guy that just uh, has continued to work hard to get better each and every day. Every year I've been here, he improved his game. You know, his jump shot is getting better and better. Cothran made his last three, makes his three. You can tell people are scared of defending, you know, because he, he can do about every, a little bit of everything. Keith is, 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 you know, a very difficult guy to guard. Like, he's, he's, a, he's a kind of nightmare for guys that we play. And on the defensive end, he's active and he's getting the passing lanes for steals. So he's a very, you know, he contributes in a lot of different ways to the game. Cothran grabs it after it went through the hands of uh, Bolding and Cothran finishes. He came in here as a, as a very good player and is leaving an excellent player. And that's a tribute to the hard work that he's put into his game as well as the hard work that the coaching staff has put in working with him. You know, he's been one of my leaders, one of my captains, and, you know, a guy that really has stepped up. He's a leader, a uh, quiet leader. He doesn't have to say much, you know, everybody knows he's a leader. You know, he's not one of those leaders that just talk a lot and, and you know, he's leader by action. He's not just my brother on the court, he's my brother off the court. Coughlin for three. Basketball is always an option. But right now, it's just right now. I just want to finish up, finish up with my school, uh, get my degree, and uh, whatever happens from there, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll be ready for it. I think they both got like incredibly bright futures. I mean, you see how the four years here has you know helped them improve and grow and stuff. And I think you know they can only really go up from here. You know, they, they've they've kind of built a foundation at, at college, and then they go on. And as long as they keep working hard, that those guys are gonna be fine. No matter what they. Uh, set their minds to doing, whether it's continue with playing uh, basketball or going off into careers, they're, they're, they're going to do well. Keith and Lamont, you two are very special. I think the world of you, and I'm going to miss you. I look forward to seeing you back here whenever you're not playing, wherever that may be uh, professionally, because I think you both are certainly talented enough to do that. I wish you the best, and um, you know that we're here for you if there's anything you ever need.